Welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner, and now we're going to be talking about Vino Presage from Mike Maoni and Brett Barry. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe? Check out Steve Faulkner's Online Magic. Dot co. Have a look at that. Onlinemagic.co, not .com, .co. Learn from a pro, onlinemagic.pro. And that's what you get. Me standing here teaching loads of stuff. Well, not just here, in other places as well. 900 videos, live sessions every week when I haven't got gigs. And they are uploaded too. And there's kind of 150 odd live sessions now with special guests. As you can see, rope magic, coin magic, all sorts of stuff from absolute beginner to, to very advanced, if I may call myself that. Right, uh, have a look at that, and have a look at the reviews, of course. I would say it's good, because I made it myself, all on my own. So, uh, and like and subscribe. Vino Passage. Now, way back, I reviewed Celebrity Passage. Prestige? Passage. Passage. And, um, which I loved. And this is from uh, Brett Barry, that does all the kind of Sven Pad stuff, the official Sven Pad stuff. And if you know what a Sven Deck is, you'll know what Sven Pad is. And loads of people use them. We've seen them used all the time as a way to force an item. But there's more to it than that, especially with this. Now, this review is going to cover a lot of what this book does, but it does so much. And there's so many little things hidden in this that if I was to go through every single one of them, it would take me ages. But do obviously use the link below to find out more and the minute i start talking about this i want you to think about what you can do with it don't just think about the effect but think about the potential of performance and the different presentations you can make around this stuff so at first blush it looks like a, a book test um and book tests are used to force words out of books etc etc and the thing we always ask ourselves is it does it look like a real book some of these book tests look really self-published and some of them look beautiful and like you know hardback proper books and that this i don't think either of those things are i've seen people absolutely storm on stage of a book test that looks nothing like anything i've ever seen so there, there is i think we over worry about this stuff a little bit too much but this does it's it's got a little bit of a self-published feel to it, but not really. And you can, like he says in the instructions, you can say, you know, I've got this in a bargain bin, it's written over lockdown, it's discontinued, uh, but it's a really interesting concept. And I think it is an interesting concept. So this is a wine guide, and it is a genuine wine guide. It's You can read this, uh, talking about all the wines genuinely, and there are loads of different wines in there, 100 pages, full of different bowls of wine. And the, the concept is that it's a wine guide written by a psycholo psychologist or psychiatrist. A bit of both, I suppose, looking at this. So, on its most basic, when I say basic, it isn't basic at all. It's that you can get someone to, someone you don't have to do it, importantly, to open the book and you're going to force a wine there. Okay, so open the book there and I'm, every time I'm doing that, I'm forcing a wine. And there are, he talks you through how to do this in ways that are going to be just work every single time. Now, there's another system in this, which is perfect, perfect numbering. Oh, I always forget it. But there's a system that's been created for this, which is just brilliant. So let's say I want to, I want to force this wine. It can be a prediction as all this stuff. It can be or go into all the mind reading effects, or you can do it as a, as a magic trick. And there's... I'll demonstrate it on here. For some reason, I can't get this GoPro to look very good, but um, we'll, we'll do it here. I'm sorry, it looks a bit grainy and rubbish. Don't know what's going on. So you don't have to do it like this. If I want to do it with a magic trick, and it doesn't really work as well as a, as a mind reading thing, I'll say, give me any page number. And let's say they say 30. So instead of just, you know, I can go through here and I can look, six, seven, eight, look, the numbers are all genuine. So... There's 16, 17, 18, 19, and all these pages are different. But when I get to here, I say, you've chosen 30, there's 28, there's 29, and then we've got 30 there, and that's the force. Now think about that. That's, a, that's brilliant. That's so foolproof. Nobody's ever going to think it's a weird book or anything. Not that they really do anyway. But I've used that for a revelation of, of a wine as a magic trick. So you can do a splash bottle trick. Or as they're looking at that, what I did is I put the wine on a table. I'm so sorry I haven't got um, any footage of this. I was at a restaurant and they did the wine that you force on here. And I just kind of improvised around that. 
I really wanted to get some footage. I didn't. Maybe by the time this goes out, I will do. I'm not going to put it back in there yet, actually. Um, so that, to me, is, I've done that so many times with this, and I love it. It just feels safe. As does this, really, if you talk them through it properly, and there's a little bit of audience management, but not much. So that's the first thing. It's the force of a wine. Now, the wine that you're forcing is... They've thought about this. It's a wine that you can get everywhere, Yellowtail. It is 2020. I can get a 2020, but I've got a 2022. And in the book, he said, in the, in the download, he says, um, when it's all written down, by the way, which is better, by the way, for this, because it does so much. You really want it in writing to be able to sort of go and work it, work it all out. But he said, oh, you can put a sticker on it as a kicker saying, no, it says 2020, but 2022, it says on the bottom, which is fine, but you don't need to. It's Yellowtail. I'm not that bothered about the year of it, but if you want to be specific, you can. It's also got a really nice thing where there's a, there's, a, there's a purposeful typo. So it says Yellowtail USA, and it's actually from Australia. And as you're reading it, you can say, actually, if you're doing a mind reading thing, you can say, look at the, is there some sort of mistake with that? And they go, oh, yeah, and you can move the, uh, the USA can be turned into AUS. So you, I want you to imagine moving a letter and changing that. So it's a little detail. That probably makes no sense whatsoever, but basically I'll show you. Um, so here... It says USA. So he basically said, oh, have a look at that. Is there something wrong with that? I can feel there's something wrong. And you can say, use, take the A and put it at the beginning. Move a letter from the end to the beginning, and then you've got Aus, Australia. So just a, a nice touch. It's got loads of these nice little touches. So I'm, trying, I'm going to try and remember all the things it does. There's so many. You can obviously do that more as a mind reading thing by doing this. They look at it, and you can get them to read it. So you don't even have to talk about the wine. You can talk about the different tastes and what they're experiencing because they're reading that. So they're the two kind of wine forces and, and many others around that. But there's this other brilliant thing as well, where because it's written by a psychologist, psychiatrist, I can't remember what one it is, um, you can also force a Rorschach test. Now, if you've not seen them, a Rorschach test is what psychologists use um, for free association. So you say, look, because this is written by one of these people, just for fun, they put lots of genuine wine, genuine wine splodges things there and you can show it to lots of different people and say look what what is that what's the first thing that comes into your mind when you do that so you show loads of different ones and then you you force it on someone and then you're not just forcing the the wine splodge not wine spl what's it called wine stain that's it forcing the wine stain you it's saying right what comes to mind so you're kind of reading their interpretation of it which again is a really nice fun thing there's this mental yarn, those mentalists will know what that is, where you get two spectators to look at the page and they will, on the force pages and the non-force pages, if you know your stuff, you know what I'm talking about, where you get two spectators to look at a list of words, choose one of the words and you, you look at the back and you go, right, I'm going to read some random words off the back of here and uh, I want you to think about the word that it's most closely related to that one word out of that list that you're thinking of and you get both words. Really nice because you've got two people out at the same time and it's a really nice sort of dynamic. You have wiki test words. So on the pages, you go look at any large word and you get that word in a kind of mother of all book test kind of thing. Now, if you know wiki test, the reason they do that is because a lot of people know wiki test, so you haven't got to learn any more words. But just in case you do get a crib with this that, that you can stick on a... Um, a lip balm or a Sharpie or something like that. This is cribbed to the hilt. So yes, memory work is better and there's not much you have to do, but you've got cribs all over this anyway. So you're going to be absolutely fine if you struggle, as I do a lot of the time with memory work. There are photo reveals. There's a, on the pages and the non-false pages, there are photo prediction or, or mind reading. You can get them to look at the photo, what the photo is, or get a word under the photo and get the word under the photo. Um, have I forgotten anything else? Well, I have. There's loads of stuff. Um, free association, we just words, Australia, folk caption. Um, that's, they're the kind of main things. But again, there's a, there's a kind of um, way to do the baby gag in this. If you know what the baby gag is, where you say you've got to force the wine, you say, I've got it on this page. You show the page and it's got all of the wines on it. Ha ha. Then you turn it around and it is actually the wine they're thinking of. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of potential and wine is great because a lot of us perform at events where there's lots of wine and drinks. So you can connect it to that. If you're obviously if you're doing a wine event, that'd be great as well. But I just think there is so much in this. And the other thing we worry about with 
book testies, are they going to last? Because they're, they're quite expensive. Now, they did, um, this did undergo a process where they made sure that everything is made super strongly. This is made in a way that it's not going to break down as easily as a lot of books are. And the system, the Svenpad system in, in this, you just cannot see it. It's so clever and so nicely made. I think it, they've put a lot of time into this. And I know they have because I've been talking uh, about this with Brett and he's kind of taken me through all the details of it and what they've done. And I'm not going to share that with you because that's not, this isn't the place to do it. But um, there's no affiliation with this at all. But I just think it, it's really good. Would I perform with it? Absolutely. Will I? I don't know. It, and that's two different things. Whether I would, you know, it, it, am I going to take a book and it's going to be another thing to add to my set? Don't know. But it's been getting really strong responses, all of the, the different things. And it depends what kind of performer you are. I'm more of a magician than a mentalist. I've got to admit that to myself now. So I do like the idea of just going, what's the page number? Going to the page as they're looking at it, putting the yellow tail wine on the table and just going like that because you've got all that misdirection you can just you can also have it in a splash bottle gimmick and not do splash bottles so you can have a a um a napkin do the thing and then just take it out as they're doing it so you've held a napkin and then under the napkin is the the bottle or again you can go down the the mind reading route uh, i think it's interesting i think it's well made it's easy it's intuitive when you read it you're going to be like oh this is kind of quite hard to learn it really isn't you're going to be up and running with this very, very quickly. And it's just full of good stuff. And I like the way it's an authentic wine guide as well, you know, and you can properly, you know, show people the, all the different wines before they do it. So, and there's, there's, there's nothing about it that looks iffy. Much more to be said, but again, I'm reviewing it. I'm not kind of giving you a detailed breakdown of, uh, of the instructions but you do get that with it and it is really nicely written i will say there's stuff in the instructions that i wish i'd known when i was learning things like wiki test he takes you through different scenarios different things you can do with this you know there's about 10 different ways of kind of doing these routines and even with the ink blot test that's what i was looking for earlier uh, the wine stain thing he tells you how to draw the thing they'll be interpreting. Because if you're like me and you can't draw, he actually has a template how to draw it. So that's really, really useful as well. I think it's great. It's brilliant. And you'll, you'll get many years of um, enjoyment out of it. So there you go. Thank you very much. I think it was Mayoni, Mike Mayoni. Have I got that wrong? But if I've got the pronunciation wrong, I'm sorry, Mike. Brett Barry, that's an easy one, isn't it? Uh, and do use the link below if you want to get this. Because, you know, it's really kind of them to send this to me. And, uh, and to go for all the details with me and, and, and Brett to take his time doing that. So use the link below, have a look at it. Uh, any questions, put them below, of course, and I will answer them on a Thursday at five o'clock. Uh, by the time you watch this, it might be a different day. So make sure that you have the notifications icon pressed so you get notified when I do my random lives. All right, then, off you go then. Look at that and look at onlinemagic.co. Like and subscribe. Cheers.